Pisces. We're going to hone into what the partner wanted to tell you. If Pisces messages come through, I will read it as well. So let's see what we got for Pisces. Two cards, ready for love and been here before. Stay optimistic about your love life. Your heart deserves the right kind of love. Okay. And been here before it states you are connected to a past life partner with whom you have shared a deep love across multiple lifetimes. All right. So you do have a past life partner, I guess. All right. Um, let's see what Pisces partner want to tell Pisces or what Pisces has to tell the partner. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Past, present, future messages. What you don't see coming. Ten of Swords. Someone is in the Ten of Swords. Let's see. Pisces partner want to tell Pisces. That's the Emperor. Aries just jumped out. Let's see. Pisces partner. So someone could be, it could be Aries going through the Ten of Swords. Um, and then you have the Death Rebirth. Someone wants to reignite this passion. Okay. This is a Transformation Rebirth. The Death card. This is someone who wants to return. And open up this passionate um, love that you guys once had. Let's get one more. And the world. You guys could be worlds apart. All right. Living in different areas. Um, someone is missing you tremendously. Okay. And someone wants you to return. Let's see what the current messages is for Pisces partner. These messages are really trying to speak today. The magician. The page is sewered. Someone is watching you. And then the five of cups. Um, someone is trying to get themselves out of this hurt and this pain here. You also have this magician, Gemini. You have this page of swords, a crazy bit, Gemini. Someone is watching you from afar. Okay. Someone is trying to manifest you as well. We have the emperance now. Okay. Oh. Libra Taurus, the emperor came out earlier. All right, so let's see what else the partner want to tell you. The king of coins now, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, very heavy Taurus now. Let's see what else the partner want to tell you. The king of cups, wow, two people so far, actually three for the future messages. You have a lot, you have a lot of people who might try to reach out. Um, Pisces, let's see what you don't see coming. The partner challenges first. Let's see what the challenges is. The bottom of the deck, you have the two coins, the lovers and the knight of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So someone, the challenge is love. Someone needs to confess or, you know, tell you how they really feel, but someone is not telling you. Maybe the ego, one card is in the way. Three of swords. What you don't see coming is that three of swords that the partner want to tell you. And you have also this knight, this ten of cups reversed. Ten of Cups, Knight of Coins, King of Swords. A lot of people. Okay. So you have love, but um, the challenge is that someone is heartbroken. Maybe because you're not together. But let's clarify. Let's see what that death card is for the partner. I want to tell Pisces reciprocity. Uh, and to not have an equal fair share. No give and take was here. Someone was given, someone was taking. So... That is, mm -mm. so let's see the Ace of Wands. You have this Knight of Knight of Swords is reversed. A crazy the Gemini. So someone is not making a a rash decision, or they did make a rash decision when it came to um, this intimate connection. Let's see what the world is about. Whoa, whoa! Page of Coins and the Moon Secrets. So someone has a small offer. The moon and a page of coins is a small offer, maybe a conversation, um, but secrets is there about distance. Is someone in the distance? Some type of secret. And here's a soulmate at the bottom. So this was a soulmate or a possible soulmate, okay? Or well, they see you as a soulmate. Let's see what that five of cups is. Winning you over, winning you back. Um... So being victorious here, trying to 
overcome this agony, this pain, this Five of Cups energy. Let's see. Page of Swords. Justice. Some type of karma here. Libra energy. Karma is here to be served. Your partner is going through karma. <clears throat> Let's see what this magician is about. Gemini. Eight of Wands messages is reversed. So if someone ghosted, this person is ghosting your partner or your partner is being ghosted or they are receiving some type of uh, karmic karma, some karma. You reap what you sow. And I see judgment and a magician here. Libra, Gemini again. And karma is reversed. That judgment is karma. Why is the imprint here? This is maybe age difference. Ten of Cups. Happiness here. So they see that they could be happy. This is what the partner want to tell you. And here's the Emperor Aries. So now you have the Emperor and the Aries. And the Emperor and the Air Emperor. So this is about the father figure here. Um, yeah, and then you got that towel at the bottom of that. And the devil, toxic energy. Someone was toxic. Why is this king of coins? It flipped around. Five of swords. Someone is realizing that they made a huge mistake here. Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, also Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What's the king of cups? Three of wands waiting. This is waiting for a message. Someone is waiting for some type of message or distance. King of cups. Let's get one more. Let's see what this is about. And wanting to work together. So now you got three, 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 three. Waiting, messages, collaboration. Now wanting to offer love, maybe. Knight of Wands. This is Aries the Osage, a player energy. Emperor came right back out. As you can see, I put it in two or three times. I believe the Emperor came out in this deck as well, the other deck. So you have this Emperor Aries is coming out. This person could have been an Aries um, or Aries somewhere in the chart. Emperor, stubborn player. Ace of Wands, passionate connection, rebirth, wanting to rekindle. You have the Ace of Wands and the rebirth here as well, death. Same thing. Ace of Wands and the Rebirth. Why is the Lovers here? Chariot. Cancer. Someone, Gemini. Someone wants you. And here's that Knight of Wands again. Here's the Osage. Someone wants you to travel to them. Drive is what I'm picking up. But your intuition is saying no. Cancer, Gemini. Aries is the challenge. And then you have this Queen of Wands, Aries the Osage. So many fire, so many fire. And also have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo with this King of Coins and this King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why do partner have this Three of Swords? They're, they're hurting for some something. Mm, yeah. Look at the Seven of Swords because of lies and deception. And the world again. Travel distance, walking away, Eight of Cups. So someone had to take a walk away. Let's see. Three of swords and a seven of swords. Magician Gemini. Manifesting at the bottom. An apology. The star. Ten of swords. Seven of pentacles. Working on a heel, working on some type of pain. But defensive, that's the, what the partner want to tell you. So, yeah, they're hurting. This is ten, This makes ten of swords as well. So, someone is hurting. Someone is trying to manifest something. I'm not sure what they want. Because you have all this love here. But it's like, you know, you're just sitting here in the regret. Let's see what the advice is for the partner want to tell you. Because... It's like, okay, they want to tell you what they did, what they fucked up. They hurt, they're hurting, but what is the solution? 
All right, so let's see what the partner want to tell you. What's the solution? Seven of Cups. So they want to work on things. Three of Coins. They have the Three of Coins two times for the partner want to tell you. Um, and you have the Seven of Cups. Having options. Was confused. More clarity for the Seven of Cups. Eight of Coins work in career. Let's go one more. Ten of Cups, happiness. They see themselves happy. And the Seven of Wands, a lot of Seven and Threes. Defensive. Someone is just on guard and defensive. That's all I'm seeing here. So I see any messages that this person might want to tell you or to convey to you. Please like, share, and subscribe again. People could be, um, I'm not going to say it because I'm trying to behave myself today. Um, let's see what the people have to tell you. The ego, see, the ego with the Aries. The ego was in a way. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Someone ego, destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. Okay. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Okay. Hope. You have a couple of cards that flew out. Let's see what this is all about. So the first card I see is hope. I haven't given up on us yet. I'm guilty. I feel pain from the damage I have caused. Reciprocity. Yeah, it was an equal give and take. I want to have equal give and take. Unexpected outcome. Things. Things. Things didn't go the way I planned. So someone plans out the damage. We are both hurting from this. So two people are hurting from whatever decision that they made, ill decision. All right. So you have a lot of people that's, um, you know, this five of swords is sticking out to me here. Let's see what else the partner want to tell Pisces. Higher purpose. We got that in other reading. Oh, a message. We got the same cards coming out. What else? All right, these three cards just jumped out. I'm going to wait for that. It says no contact, so some people could be not in contact with the person. Focused on money, and then you have compromise and opposites, energy, high vibration, and independent. All right, so let's see what type of jobs these people have, and I'll see you next reading. We will do um, messages for Pisces next. Let's see what type of jobs. So someone could be a tour guide, a bard, all right? And then you have a Korea mailman information. All right, so you have a madman, you have a lawyer, and you have a criminal. Let's see what else. Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords. A crazy bit Gemini. Hidden deceit and thinking strategically. All right. So um, that Queen of Swords, someone is wearing a false mask. Hidden deceit. The world again. Hollow completion. Something that's not complete. Someone doesn't want something to end. Nine of Coins. Knight of Wands reversed. Senseless Risk. All right, that's it. Five of Swords at the bottom. Two of Wands reversed. Holding back. Someone is holding back. Self-doubt. The Eight of Swords. And then you have the Five of Swords. Ruthless win. So someone is going to win something over no matter what. Um, all right, so someone wants to win at all costs, maybe to fight for this connection. I'm not sure what they're fighting for, Pisces, or if you're interested. This could be just your energy. Um, it says ruthless win, self doubt. This is insecurity for sure. Eight of swords, knight of wands. 
uh, you have the Knight of Wands three times, so you could be dealing with the Aries or Sag, also an Aquarius, but Gemini with this Queen of Swords. And it's Seven of Swords, which is Deception. And you have the World and the Nine of Coins. So it could be distance between you two. So I don't know. Let's, I'll see you in the next reading, Pisces. This is a lot. So take what resonates. Please leave the rest behind. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, please let me know. Leave the comments below. And yeah, we're still Mercury retrograde. Things are a little confusing for some people. Some people are going through it. Some people are not. Some people are enjoying their life. Some people are um, stressed out and going crazy. So again, I'm going to behave myself and see you next week in Pisces. Namaste.